Yasmin who was mentioned as the last woman to get bread was pounding, she quickly stepped forward, looking at Henry excitedly and shyly, Master, are you? Would you like to buy a cake? I can let you take this cake if you want. This is please, but, can I have the WhatsApp number please? Yasmin is already in love with this man, so she can't wait to take the initiative. She was in good shape, young and beautiful and there were many boys chasing after her, but this was very strange, when she took the initiative to start a conversation with this man, she was extremely nervous. And it turns out to be against Yasmin's expectations, Henry doesn't even see it. He didn't even glance at her at all. And he just took out his black gold card and then handed it to the store manager, okay, I want to make a special cake, as I want, here is the card, make a special one at any cost. The shop manager immediately saw Henry's black gold card with the gold name, Mahendra, written on the surface of the card. Mahendra is a family name that no one does not know in Yogyakarta. The shop manager almost immediately guessed the identity of the man in front of him. Cold sweat dripped down his forehead, the strong man who covered the sky with one hand then turned the clouds into rain fell onto the small cake shop. Three Aya sir. Master, please wait a moment, I will let the master chef make a special one for you right now. The manager ran into the back kitchen. Yasmin and Zuno looked a little confused, why did the shop manager bother to prepare a cake for this man? They all think the same. This is a VIP customer of this cake shop. Henry was waiting for his cake so he took the business newspaper and read it casually. Yasmin is totally ignored. This is very embarrassing for him. She stretched her tie skirt and deliberately exposed her seductive curves. Ouch, my head hurts, Yasmin pretends to be dizzy, to fall into Henry's arms. She closed her eyes and hoped to fall into the arms of the man of her dreams. But apparently his hopes were dashed, with a loud bang he fell to the floor. It turned out that Henry was avoiding this pretend girl and she ended up falling to the floor. At this moment, a clear and beautiful voice sounded from above his head, Yasmin, why did you give me such a big gift? Yasmin opened her eyes and saw Amelia unexpectedly. Amelia walked in, her gleeful eyes at his disgraceful state and she blinked at him playfully. Yasmin's whole body ached, she immediately woke up embarrassed, Amelia, why are you here? Yasmin showed an expression that was extremely shocked. How did Amelia get to this cake shop? When he left, Waira had already entered his room. What actually happened? At this time, Henry stepped forward and reflexively stretched out his arms to hug Amelia's slender waist, why are you taking so long? One hand was enough to wrap her around his waist. Yasmin and Zuno took a deep breath, A-A-A-A-Wa. Amelia and this man? Amelia, who is she? Yasmin asked quickly. Amelia pursed her lips. Didn't you say that he was my tall white-faced man earlier? Amelia pointed at Yasmin and looked at Henry, he told me this earlier. Yasmin and Zuno were dumbfounded. It turns out that this white-faced and tall man is really friends with Amelia. Good grief. I really can't believe it at all. Yasmin felt him slapping her face hard. After that, the store manager gave him a strawberry jam cake, Henry took it and left together, let's go Amelia. Oh yeah. Amelia followed, and she looked back and waved her little hand at Yasmin. Yasmin was completely taken aback. She had no idea that Amelia would be so lucky to have a man like this. At this time Zuno said mockingly. Yasmin, looks like you're really going to call Amelia your boss. Yasmin looked at Zuno angrily and glared. Zuno immediately smiled and said, Yasmin, I mean, the tall white face that is with Amelia is very handsome, how much did he pay Amelia huh? 
Henry ignored them all along, as if they didn't exist, this made the confident and beautiful Yasmin feel very stupid and annoyed. However, Zuno's words quickly reminded him that not only was Amelia's handsome face and height, but Amelia was also very lucky because she was very rich. Thinking about this, Yasmin changed her mind. Manager, give me the cake I bought earlier, I will bring it back. Yasmin goes to get the cake. The shop manager didn't give it, sorry ladies, the money will be returned to you, and you will be given more than the price of the cake as compensation, but this cake cannot be given to you. Ha <laughs> how come? Yasmin and Zuno were both dumbfounded. The shop manager smiled faintly, because, this cake is for my dog. What? Are you kidding me? Yasmin patted the table and stood up, manager, what do you mean, are you trying to embarrass us? The shopkeeper answered. Don't you realize that you have embarrassed yourself and have also humiliated our shop? You have offended an influential person here. Better this cake to a dog than to give it to you. Regardless of the problem Yasmin, Amelia and Henry just left. And enter their luxury car. The luxury car stopped at the green garden, and Henry handed the black card with the gold stamp to Amelia, hold this, this is for you. Amelia's hands were shaking, why did she give her a card? I don't want it, Amelia refuses. Henry raised his thin lips, you definitely can't feed me with a pale face like that, but I, I have to be able to feed my wife. My wife. When she said these words in a very soft but comfortable voice, Amelia only felt her heart beating, and her heartbeat was not in the rhythm it should be. Amelia quickly opened the door and got out of the car. This man is absolutely insane. Amelia carefully put the black gold card in her bag and entered the living room. Mrs. Hilda greeted her with a smile on her face, Amelia, you're back, how are you with your family today? Grandma, it's going well, let's eat cake with Grandma. Old Mrs. Mahendra's eyes lit up, she walked into the living room stiffly, stretched her arms, this cake is delicious, I like this cake the most. At this time, Henry enters. Instead of going to the living room, he went straight upstairs, but he stopped at the stairs, and his eyes fell on Mrs. Mahendra, Grandma, you have high blood pressure. Eat it to taste it just a little, Granny. Mrs. Hilda Mahendra put the piece of cake in her mouth, and spoke nonsense seriously, actually I got it, I just took a bite and tasted it, it's very sweet. Amelia was comforted by the old woman, she lifted her face to look at the man on the stairs, would you like to eat the cake? Henry doesn't like sweets, no need, you just eat. Oh, yeah wah. That corner of your mouth ha ha ha. Henry laughed a little when he saw the corner of Amelia's lips that was exposed to her strawberry cake cream. Henry's gaze fell on Amelia's small face. Because of the cake, the veil on her face lifted, revealing her small jaw and half-covered red lips. Her lips were beautiful, cherry red. The cake cream so precisely picks those lips that make men want to joke when they see them, he told himself. Now she has a slight milk stain on her lips. Upon being reminded, the Amelia stuck out her tongue and licked the tiny milk stain directly into her mouth. When he lifted his eyes to look at her again, Henry raised his hand and tugged the tie on the collar of his shirt, swallowed his saliva down his throat and entered the study. Amelia's white earlobe reddened, Henry adjusted his tie and as he thought of that stare from his husband. Amelia quickly took out a tissue and gently wiped her lips. At this time, the butler brought an old man upstairs, and Amelia asked, Grandma, who is that person? Oh, it's Mr. Nindra. He would come here once a month. Thank you all. Have a nice day. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe, so that the admin is more enthusiastic to provide entertainment for all of you. See you in the next video.